Hi everyone, this is Eileen Castellano. So happy to be here with you guys today on this Facebook Live. Very excited actually because we're changing the modality of how we are getting to our viewers, how we are getting information out to all of you. And we're using a lot of emails, email campaigns and promotions to get messages more, most importantly, to get messages out, out to each person who would benefit from the messages. And sometimes it's not a message that is for us, but sometimes it's a message for someone that we love and we know. And so thank you so much for being here. Welcome for being here with me today. And we're going to be talking about uh, Facebook. Um, actually, we're putting it on Facebook today, but we are going to be talking about my last Ascension letter, which was something that we had published last Friday. And when I say we, I'm talking about my team. I've got beautiful people that I call my angels, uh, my earth angels that are always here to help me to promote, teaching me how to, they're guiding me on how to market myself, which is something that I never really did in my practice of almost 20 years. It was a flow of just clients showing up and it was all word of mouth. So this is a brand new platform for me. So excuse me if I'm having a little bit of a hiccup here and there, but I wanted to address with all of you today that when I wrote this Ascension letter, I had a lot of people responding to me over the weekend because it went out on Friday because I had named it. It was the death of me. And when I, when I wrote it, obviously I was thinking more of the death of me as everyone knew me. And so many times we're, we're saying to ourselves, we want to change. I want to be different. I want to be different. I Differently, I want to have a different life experience. And many times that does come with the death of you. Because in order for you to renew and, and rebirth into this new aspect of who you want to become, you've got to undo everything that, or most of the things, obviously you're not going to undo everything. There's great things that are still left behind and are still within you. But the things that no longer serve you, the things that that we're getting in the way of you being at your best, this is the time where you get to actually release all that. And it, it does come with almost a death process because you've got to come to a realization that there's something that's not right in your life. There's something that has to shift and it has to change in order for you to become this brand new version of you that you get to love, that you get to be excited about, that you get to teach others from this place. And so, it was a very, it has been a, a very challenging year. It's been a lot, a little bit of everything. There's been reunifications and, and growing of relationships that, that somehow had dwindled or were lost. And then there were people that had to leave. And in all of that, I had to transition myself in order to continue to help people transition. I had to do it first. And so when I'm talking about the death of me, it was really looking at all the different areas of my life, deciding that the things that I didn't like about myself was okay for me to let go. Because so many times we're so hard on ourselves and we just want to continue to beat ourselves up and, and, and stay with attributes or have personality traits or situations coming up that are hurtful, but we keep them anyway. Right, we just keep them around, almost like like they're just a reminder of what we don't like. And so, I'm encouraging you all to look at yourselves. Take this time. We've got a few, two, actually probably two and a half weeks now before the end of the year, before we actually enter into 2019. So, take this opportunity to take a look at the things that you don't like about yourself, that you don't want to take into 2019 that you're ready to release so that you can make the opportunity to renew the new you, how you would like yourself to be, how you want people to see you, how you want to have this experience that we call life, how you want your journey to turn out. And that's something that's constantly transforming and transitioning and changing for us, but it's time for you to take charge. And so I'm encouraging you all to take this moment and take a look at what is it that you love so much that you're not going to change, right? Because that was the first thing that I had to do in my transition is realize that there were, such, there were so many attributes that I really loved about myself that I didn't want to change that. Those I wanted to keep. But the ones that, you are, that you're ready to release and to let go because you know 
that they hurt you. You know they're not good for you. They, you know that it creates problems and situations for you and how you communicate and how you relate to other people and how you relate in your own family, how you relate at work and how maybe it even holds you back from being the best that you can be in creating abundance in your life. So all of this had to be packaged together and put together so that I could finally step into the death of me and all the aspects and parts of me that I was ready to let go so that I could begin to step in to the new Eileen, the new person that I wanted to be, the new person that I wanted to, to, I wanted to teach from this place. I wanted to embrace so many beautiful things in my life with love and opening my heart to receiving a lot of those, which many times we don't open our hearts to receive because we don't think that we deserve it or we don't think that we're worthy of having it or we don't think it's our turn or we make all sorts of silly excuses. So I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you guys to spend the next two and a half weeks really just honing in on what you don't want to take into 2019. And on 12-12, which is actually on Wednesday of this week, I will be having another Facebook Live because I want to explain to all of you in the numbers, in the numerology, what the 1212 signifies, why the 1212 is such a powerful number. And we're going to be in a 1212 on Wednesday. And we are in an 11 year because when you add 2, 1, and 8 for 2018, you get, you get an 11. So we've got gateways, we've got portals of energy that are helping us to propel and to step into what it is exactly that we want in our lives, the new reality that we are creating for ourselves. So I'm leaving you all with this message today. I want you to assess. I want you to take the opportunity to reflect what parts of you you would like to just release and remove so that you can step into being that beautiful, awesome person that you really are without all the drama, all the trauma, all the darkness that you've experienced without bringing all of that darkness and negativity into 2019. I love you all. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you so much for being who you really are. Thank you again. Thanks, Louis, Laura, Kelly, Betsy, Migdalia. Thank you all for your love, your support. Remember, share this. And if you're not receiving my Ascension letters, I'm going to encourage you to send, send me an email or send me your email on this on the Facebook, and, I, and I'll go ahead and I'll, and I'll send it to Joanna, my beautiful assistant, that will put you on our list, and you can be receiving the Ascension letters on Friday if you're not receiving them. And if anybody else that you know is, is, would benefit, then of course, ask them to do the same. Have yourselves an amazing week, and I will see you back next week. Thank you.